Guys, many of you know the conservative rapper Forgiato Blow. He's based in Florida. He has uh, the number one hit uh, single, Boycott Target. He's also written some terrific songs, Four More Years, uh, Closer to Home, 2,000 Mules. And he has a new song that is connected with our film Police State. It's called Police State Survivor. He's put it out today. I've been sharing it everywhere on uh, social media. By the way, you can follow Forgiato at, uh, at X. It's Forgiato Blow 47. Forgiato, welcome. Thanks for joining me. This is awesome. Your song is just fantastic. Uh, talk a little bit about the idea for the song and the composition process uh, for it. Well, I love what you do, first off, and um, I thought it was great you did the 2,000 Mules, and then I heard about this movie coming. Uh, so I thought, hey, I got to get on this really and make a song. So me and your wife, Debbie, came up with some good ideas and ran through some things and uh, went to the studio, made the song, shot the video that I think is needed for what's going on right now. Yeah, music is such a powerful medium to convey these themes. And, you know, the police state is a is a serious topic. Uh, and yet I think the the kind of the genius of what you did is you were able to take a song that combined the the fear and terror of a police state, but also the spirit of of resistance and um, and, and, and and a single song in, you know, two and a half minutes. You can you can do all that. So talk about the power of music. Um, well, music is very powerful, you know, and as a lot of people say they might not even listen to rap music, but it's the number one genre of rap music and people in the world are playing it. So we definitely need rappers on our side here. Um, I think it's good for the youth. I think a lot of people these days don't really understand what a police state is or understand what could happen or where we're headed, right, under this government we have right now. We're seeing they're indicting presidents. We're seeing that, you know, there's wars all over the world starting up. Um, I just think it's good. I mean, they're forcing, you know, uh, maybe the COVID back again. You know, it's just good to let people know that, you know, you got to stand up and fight for your rights and um, just not be afraid. But it is scary because, you know, the government can do really kind of whatever they want to do. So I just think it's good for the younger generation too to really understand that there's music that's positive And it's also giving you a tip of what might be coming soon. It's not meant to scare you. It's meant to, you know, alarm you so you know what's coming. You're ready for it. You are sometimes known as the mayor of MAGAville. You've been a hardcore Trumpster really from the beginning. Do you see Trump as the kind of the poster boy, not of carrying out the police state, but of being the target of the police state? And and why Trump? Too powerful. You know, he's a very powerful man. I, I'd always play with people all the time. You know, he's bigger than a sports team. So I live in Tampa and I tell people, hey, you know, who's bigger, Donald Trump or the Bucks? You know, Donald Trump is, is a big figure. Um, I think that he can't be bought and that he doesn't have to listen to nobody, you know. He's very dangerous to them and what they're trying to push, uh, the narrative with him. I mean, the media has tried to destroy him for years, which they've succeeded numerous times that we all know doing. Um, they're coming at him, you know, indicting him for stuff that, why did you not indict him four years ago? You know, why is everything now getting closer to the elections? Um I just think they're very scared of what Donald Trump's going to do. I think when Donald Trump gets back in the White House, who goes to jail now? They go to jail, right? I and mean, that's scary yeah. Thing. I mean, that's an interesting point. You're saying that Trump in the first term probably underestimated a little bit the depth of the corruption of the police state. Hey. Uh, but then he experienced it directly. So I think you now you have, would you say he's kind of a man on a mission and his mission in part is to dismantle the police state. I think they know that, right? And that's why it's indictment after indictment. That's why it's issue after issue. Um, but I think it only made it bigger. It struck a nerve of the culture, especially the hip-hop culture and the community. They could understand what it's like to face an indictment, to face a RICO charge. You know, there's a lot of people. You know, there's a lot of people that think that stuff's cool. There's a lot of people that think that's popular. It painted him in a different light. Um, I think at one time, a lot of people couldn't resonate to Donald Trump that weren't in his billionaire box, Right. And these type of new allegations and, and um, things saying that he's doing stuff that I know he's innocent of is obviously making these people being able to relate to him a little bit. They're understanding Donald Trump a little more. They're realizing why are they want this man demolished so much? Like one man, why are they so worried about this one guy, right? Why is everybody so worried about him? It's because he's powerful. It's because he knows the truth. He knows what they don't want him to know. And I think they know that he's coming back. He's 
He's being really laid back with it right now, but as soon as he gets back in there, he's going to flip a switch, and he's going to go at everybody that went at him first. Do you think that Trump is right when he says that they're really after us? They're after the Trump stirs, and they're after the conservatives and the patriots and the Republicans and the Christians, and that Trump is sort of in the way he's interposed between them and us, and so they kind of got to take him out first. And uh, and that's why they're going after him. Yeah, I mean, what country has it ever been popular for people in the world to attach themselves to the government, right? It's never been a popular thing. I mean, take somebody like me. I'm an urban rapper. I got tattoos. You know, I came up. And when I rapped about degenerate things and degenerate topics, I was promoted. It was great. Now when I talk about, you know, voter ID and, you know, not mandating vaccines and fighting the police state, you know, I'm getting banned for the stuff. I'm getting silenced for the stuff, right? They ban me for going at Target and, uh, you know, boycott and Balenciaga and all these certain things that, you know, are attacking the children. But if I was telling the children to do drugs and do all this stuff, it's promoting. So I think that's their biggest thing with Trump. Everybody's attaching themselves to Trump and they're confused. Like, why would someone attach themselves to, you know, a former president, the future president, and someone that can, you know, put you in jail, someone that can, you know, mess with your funds, mess with your lifestyle, and I think it really confuses them that we attached ourselves, you know, to Donald Trump. And he's not, he's in their way because we listen to what he does and we we believe in him, right? Donald Trump doesn't need this financially, right? Donald Trump's older. He could be retired right now, not caring about none of this. He's risking his life, his freedom. I mean, they're trying to give him, what, like 30, 40 years of prison if the stuff goes through. I mean, it's crazy to see what they're doing to him. So I think it's, you have to be alerted right now. Even if you weren't a Trump supporter, you know, there's a lot of people I know that were like 50-50, you know, they weren't going to vote for Trump, going to vote for Trump. And now it's like the way different. They're calling me like, hey, Blow, um, and I was wrong. We should be friends again. Like, man, we need Trump back. I ain't got like people. I, there's people I haven't talked to, you know, in three or four years because I went so hard for Trump that there were great relationships that completely folded. And somehow I'm getting back in with these people again. And they're like, I need Trump. They want to go to rallies. They're trying to back Trump, get behind them. You know, and I got some different narratives in my brain of what I think they will do. I don't even think Joe Biden is going to run. I think they're going to run Michelle Obama, and that's going to be tough. You know what I mean? That's going to be a tough one. But, you know, I think they're only going to do that if Trump beats all these indictments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Orgiato, we're going to close out this segment with a little glimpse of your song. Uh, just not the whole song, but just a part of the song. But I do want people to know that on October 27th, when we do our... Uh, virtual premiere out of this magnificent studio in Las Vegas. It's called the War A Studios. You are going to be there live and you're going to perform the song. Then we're going to screen the movie, the live Q&A with Dan Bongino and me to follow. And what's cool is all of this is for the price of a movie ticket. So the place to go, guys, to get tickets for the theater, but also for the virtual premiere, either one. It's a one-stop shop. It's policestatefilm.net. Um, you got to listen to this song by Forgiato Blow. Follow him on X at Forgiato Blow 47. Uh, thank you so much, Kurt. We'll, we'll close out with the song, but really appreciate you joining me. It's a great movie. I got to see it early and I love it. You gon' fold. How will they remember you? Stand tall and be bold. Bury me a fighter. Police they survivor. If it can happen to me, then it can happen to you. If it can happen to me, then it can happen to you. We know they coming and we ain't gon' be running. We know they coming and we ain't gon' be running. If it can happen to me, then it can happen to you. Yeah, they want to take my soul Tell me what the FBI want to raid me for Election fraud, the government, they want to steal our hope A one-party state gonna take your freedom for shit sure. Scream in our face, we political prisoners How they charge you for a crime, but they ain't got Debbie and I are on a really good health journey, but we still struggle to eat enough fruits, veggies, and fiber, and those are a requirement. Now, lucky for us, we discovered Balance of Nature, and what better way to get all your fruits and veggies plus fiber than with Balance of Nature? 
Now, this is Balance of Nature's fruits and veggies in a capsule uh, made from fresh whole produce. The produce is powdered after an advanced vacuum cold process, which stabilizes the maximum nutrient content. And this is Balance of Nature's Fiber and Spice, a proprietary blend of fiber and 12 spices for overall and digestive health. Join Debbie and me. Start your journey to better health right now. Call 800-246-8751 or go to balanceofnature.com. You'll get 35% off your first preferred order by using discount code AMERICA. Again, that's balanceofnature.com or call 800-246-8751. Get 35% off your first preferred order by using discount code AMERICA.